Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing a game called You Left Me. I've known about this game, I ain't going to lie. I already saw somebody play it on YouTube a few years ago. And I wanted to play it for myself to see how it goes. If you haven't already, I already played another game they made called Miss Messages. So you can check that out up there. So without further ado, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media links down below. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Six seventeen twenty twenty two. Isn't that today? Seven thirty three a.m. Wake up. Six seventeen twenty twenty two nine thirty three a.m. Work. Six seventeen twenty twenty two ten thirty three p.m. Sleep. Six eighteen twenty twenty two seven thirty three a.m. Wake up. I wake up in the same bed, but a different world. Where am I? Why am I here? Some nice music. Oh, on the moon clocks a 12 hour timer. What happens when night falls and time runs up? How do I get out of here before then? 7.33 a.m. by the way. My phone, unseen text, missed calls. I rarely look at my phone anymore. I try to forget about the memories it contains. What's on that phone, girl? <clears throat> How does the pancake walk? I can kind of read it. Look inside. I'm positive there's nothing. Look anyway. I find my keys in the freezer. I thought I'd put them in my pocket. How did I get them? Did I put them there? I need to get my memory checked. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No. Let's read notes. Might be important. White magnets read. I can read the white magnet. It says, how does the pancake wobble? That's all I can read. They read. They read. I can't read that. <laughs> I'm trying, but I can't read them. I see words, but I don't understand what they mean. Try again. Let's just try again. I, it, I don't know what's going on. I feel my mind is working against me. I can't focus. It can't stop thinking about horrible things. I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm not scared of failure. Try again. Yeah, try again. After a few attempts, I get it. I can kind of read it. How does the pancake wobble? Yeah. The first sticky note reads, Mem Daily Reminder, I Love You, from You Know Who, Not Harry Potter Time. Ha. The second note reads, reads, Remember, Swain's Lane? Why? The third note reads, Give this girl some milk. <laughs> That's enough fridging for today. Look at the tiny little cat. Whoa! Give me this cat. I love him like you had. Around him I feel comfortable. No need to pretend. Hmm, something doesn't seem right. Yeah, he got one eye. But I can't remember how he looks up close. I haven't spent time with him, not since... We could talk to the cat? Hello, uh... Moo? The cat said Moo? Would I name my cat? I had him for a while now, yet I can't remember. Senior Waffles, Untitled Doggo. Your name is Senior Waffles. Oh yeah, Senior Waffles. I'm pretty proud of that one. Thought of it myself. Hey, Senior Waffles, you pee everywhere, but I love you anyways. Is this what the dog's saying? My dude, you're awake. Good snug last night. <clears throat> How do I get out of here, Pat? Stretch, stretch. I'll leave you to sleep now. How did I get here? How did I get out of here, I mean? Meow? This isn't normal. I don't belong here. Never mind. Is that bad? Normal isn't always a good thing, you know. Pat, stretch, stretch. I'll leave you to sleep now. <laughs> I ain't finna gonna. I'm not even gonna attempt to read that. <laughs> stretch, stretch. Just showing the cat some love. I'll marry you platonically. I love you. Thank you. I'll leave you to sleep now. Mom, I stand, okay? <laughs> Bye then. You make me happy. I 
heart you too oh you're leaving already okay i love you please come back soon for purrs and snugs i love you too the moon rumbles the rumbling let me stop how do you round the 37th sheet round to 40. is that supposed to be a joke how you take a shot? Did you take a shower today? Don't forget to return it. Ooh, I don't. I don't know. That's not. <laughs> you have that your own joke, okay? It wasn't that funny, but okay. Let's get out of bed. Where did I go? I need to escape this world before the time runs out. Like outside, work, clinic, anywhere. I haven't noticed before now. Every day the bus passes the same flower field. You would have liked this. I wish we could, I wish I could show this to you. Look at the little pretty flowers. The flowers are gorgeous. I never learned to appreciate small things like these until you came along. She's talking to you. Who is this person she's talking to? Work clinic anywhere, Swain. Swain's Lane, Highgates. That's on the fridge, right? Hmm. Can we come back to that? What happens if I go to work? Whoa. Oh. Do I have to socialize like a full functioning human? Yes. Yesterday you said tomorrow. Good point. Half functioning humans are cool too. box with their face. Oh, hey, what's up? Why are you at work today? Switch light was a bad idea. Go back to work. Why do you ask? I mean, I just... Why are you here? You've been taking this day off for weeks now. Ever since... Uh, I mean, yeah. Anyways, why are you here? I forgot what day it is. I forgot I should take the day off. I just wanted to. I just wanted to. You wanted to? You okay? You right in the head? It's not like it matters. I'm fine. Why'd you ask? I really think you should talk to someone. Bottling up emotions just doesn't, you know. I don't know. What do you mean by that? You should become a professional soothsayer. What do you mean by that? I mean, you've been to Highgates, right? I don't know. Um, yes? My memory has been, hasn't been cooperating lately, so I have no idea. Oh, uh, guess I'm sorry to hear that. I just wanted to say I can go with you if you want. I know from experience that the first time is the scariest. Is that a challenge? Thank you, I appreciate your kindness. I mean, he's offering to take us. He doesn't seem too sketchy. For sure, my dude. We really talk, but you're pretty chill. Should hang out sometime. Catch you later. Four. Whoa! What's going on, Two Faced? In a decent job, as always, of course, there's room for improvement. Hey, what do you say about working late tonight? You can improve, and I can give you a closer feedback. I don't want to improve at packing, packing boxes. I don't know. This sounds great. Hmm. Oh, he got sharp teeth, too? Oh, God. I don't know about all that. This is a great opportunity for you. Trust me on this. <sighs> I don't... Uh, fine. Fantastic. You won't regret this. Final last words. I end up working six hours over Oh, God. The work in this dull, mundane story allow my thoughts to fester. I can't stop thinking about it. 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 Oh god. I want to stop thinking. Help me, please. Make it stop. That ain't you on the edge of a cliff. Y'all help? Go back to work, eavesdrop. The humans are commiserating over shared hatred of certain weather conditions. 
John, I know I saw that spider there, right beside your foot, a moment ago. Where'd it go? For the tenth time, I don't know, Marie. <laughs> Humans just... What? Wildly? I don't know how to say that. Sales haven't been going so well. If this keeps up, we'll have to. Let's get out of here. No, we're going back to work. We ain't finna fly nowhere. We ain't finna encourage that. Let's go home. Okay, let's go to clinic. So I guess we can come back here. Yo, go high. Everybody got on mask. It's like a little misfortune. Everybody had those masks on to like hide their true emotion. She's not the, she's just not wearing hers. Oh, the doctor ain't either. Hers is kind of cracked. Wait in line, give up and go home, never mind. Let's wait in line. I wait for a long, for a very long time. Just as I was beginning to lose hope, they called my name. Secret? Why is it all coming out of her mouth? Is she telling secrets? She's telling lies? She, nothing coming out of her mouth is sacred? Like, she's telling everybody secrets? Sorry about the wait. Our latest experiment in happiness didn't go quite as well as planned. So we had to do some crisis intervention. See? Enough about me. What can I do for you today? How do I get out of this world? My mask is cracking. I think I lost my mind. Have a good day. Did this say she need to get her mind checked? Hmm. Perhaps you're experiencing head trauma. I can do a brain scan for you if you like. Sure, go ahead. All right, hold on. 10, 11, I mean, 11.33 PM. Hello, ma'am. Results came back and your brain looks perfectly healthy. But my memory isn't working. Hmm. Hmm, I might have a solution for you. We just invented them in a lab. We're calling them happy pills. Oh my God. We're calling them happy pills. A pill a day should keep the hurt away. Oh God. <coughs> it's actually what I need, thanks. I don't know. No, I have doubts. No, I have doubts. All right. It'll be here, yours for the taking. Anytime you feel a little unhappy. Let your mind like some. How do I get out of this world? My mask is cracking. Have a good day. Excuse me? Can you repeat that? How do I get out of this world? Sorry, I'm not trained to help you with that. You a doctor, ain't you? Signs of psychosis, possibly possible insanity. Oh, don't mind me, just taking notes. Do you need anything else? My mask is cracking. It looks fine to me. It isn't working. I try something else instead. Like what? Would you like our? Would you like? To, would you like to try our newly patented happy pills? One day we'll keep the sadness at bay. I'm fine. Never mind. No. Mm -mm. All right. They'll be here. You're taking anytime you feel a little unhappy. Uh, let's leave. I'm not encouraging that. Just go home. Forget the clinic. It's useless. They can't fix my pain with pills and injections. Even if they could, I'm too scared to let them in. To let anyone try. What the hell? I'm too scared of trusting them being left bare. Bereft again? I'm too scared of trusting them being left bereft again? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Escape at last, swings, lane, high gates. You the only two options we can do. And we ain't finna escape. We ain't finna do what she about to, what she thinks she about to do. We finna go here. Hell no. I remember now. You died a while ago, and I've been denying it since. But you, but you wouldn't want that, would you? Me stuck in my head, living a fantasy. When there's so much more reality to explore. The cat you left me. The flower fields that pass the metro. Oh, it's a grave. It's a cemetery. She's visiting her friend, I think? 
I loved you, you know. You left me behind. I don't blame you for leaving. Every day I wake up and think about joining you. What? Give in or survive? No, we finna survive this. But I'll keep living with the memories you gifted me without you. Six eighteen twenty twenty two eleven thirty three p.m. Live. That's her with the cat. <coughs> e end. End. Dedicated to everyone who's lost anyone. Thank you for playing. Huh. That's it. So what I'm taking from this game is that this girl lost a close person in her life. I think maybe like a friend or a family member that she really cared about. And she just doesn't know how to cope. She doesn't know how to live on and move on with her life without this person. This person has kept her going, just kept her happy and sane. And now that that person's gone, she doesn't know how to cope. She doesn't know how to deal. She doesn't know what to do. She's losing her memory. She can't remember things. She even put her keys in the freezer and she forgot. She didn't even she didn't even know she did that. I don't know if it was because of her friend being being dead that she just forgot all about that. Or I don't know, but this one this one is a lot different than the Miss Messages game that I played. But <clears throat> But like I said in my Miss Messages video that mental health isn't something to just ignore, sweep under the rug, just brush off. It's never a good thing to do. Especially when you're going through it and you don't know how to cope, you don't know how to deal, you don't know who to talk to, you don't know how to get help. And the last thing you want is somebody to just ignore it, dismiss it, and try to blame other things as to why you're going this way, as to why you're feeling this way. And that should never be the case. You should never ignore mental health. And just ignore it from anybody. It doesn't matter how old you are, young, old, black, white. It doesn't matter. Mental health isn't everybody. Everybody goes through something personal in their lives, especially with what's going on right now in the world. Everybody's on edge. Everybody's scared. Nobody knows what to do. Everybody's afraid to go out. At least I am, you know. It's, it's scary out here, but you know you shouldn't live your life in fear, but it's, it's getting crazy out here. It really is, so... If you or anyone you know who's going through anything, please talk about it. If, whether you write it down in a journal, talk to somebody, or whether you're just listening to it in here in the comment section. You know, just don't be afraid to just talk and just get it off your chest and just take a deep breath, look yourself in the mirror, and just keep moving forward. Just, just keep moving forward. I know it's going to be hard. You're going to get knocked down. But you're always going to have... But, it would be nice to have that one person just reach their hand out to you and help you up and just help you move forward. But sometimes people just have to do it by themselves. But Because if no one's going to help you, then who is? You know, so you got to get yourself up. And keep moving forward every day. As hard as it may be, as hard as it might sound, but just keep moving forward. Don't want to lose it all. You really don't. But thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media links down below. And I'll see you guys next time.